This ghost hunt turns terrifying fast. Published by Indra Saputra Official in April of 2022, Indra is exploring an abandoned place when he turns down a hallway that's occupied. Dressed in white, a girl whose face we cannot see is kneeling in the darkness. Indra seems to hold back his fear so as not to startle the demon girl, but soon he turns around and takes off running. Would you stick around? That's a heck no from me. Always check your spices before tossing them in your soup. Posted to the oddly terrifying subreddit by Maladay17, the Redditor writes that she was cooking when she noticed something strange about her paprika. Upon closer inspection, what they thought were seeds turned out to be something else. When they pour the paprika on the ground, they see it is completely infiltrated by these bugs. Many in the comments are saying they've also had this happen before, finding these bugs in everything from cinnamon to Old Bay to ramen noodles. But Redditor Emery102 looks on the bright side, writing, Extra protein. I guess our opinions differ there because I'm now going to be checking my spices for the rest of my life. Recently, an apocalyptic dust storm hit Sioux Falls and Sherman, South Dakota, and the terrifying footage was captured on video. Published by Filipino American Vlogs in May of 2022, this footage shows what happens when a storm kicks up a heck of a lot of dust. News sites reported that the sky turned dark as night at 4 p.m., and the images look similar to those taken of the Dust Bowl in the 1930s. The difference between the two events is that the 1930s Dust Bowl was caused by a cold front pushed down from Canada by Arctic air. Well, this recent storm was caused by a line of thunderstorms known as derecho. The wall of dust was out in front of the storm, followed by heavy rain. Both events have drought to blame, however, which is what allows so much topsoil to get thrown into the air. And both, I can agree, make it seem like things are getting pretty scary. While out fishing on the Stockton, California waterfront, this fisherman was almost robbed. Published by Trout Hunters in May of 2021, the fisherman is casting his line when he notices some unsavory character sitting at a table off to the side. Having left all his gear several yards away, the fisherman starts heading back over to it when he sees the strangers making their move. You can see the guys catching up to him and their exchange on the fisherman's body cam. What happened? The group then moves off without further incident. Many in the comments have had similar incidents while out fishing and agree that it's always wise to be prepared to protect yourself. Others, including myself, commend this fisherman for his situational awareness. The passed away mother of Anesh pays a visit to Jordan of the YouTube channel Paranormies. But first, a little backstory. Manisha and Anesh immigrated to Canada from India years ago. Although Manisha passed away in this home, her spirit remained. Anesh believes she took the form of a boot or shapeshifter and now sometimes transforms into a white cat. When Jordan first sets up his camera, Manisha soon makes an appearance. He then hears the REM pod go off downstairs, so he heads down to investigate. After trying to communicate with Manisha for a bit, he hears another REM pod go off upstairs in the attic. He heads up to check it out. Through the device, Manisha confirms to Jordan that she loves her son. Can you touch it again, just one time, if you, if you love your son? Oh, there it is. Throughout this, the motion light on the stairs keeps going on and off, triggered by what though, Jordan isn't sure. 
After setting up a motion ball on the stairs, he hears a knock coming from the bathroom. He investigates but finds nothing, and when he returns to the stairs, the motion ball is activated. The ball is even knocked off the top step by an unseen force. What is in the stairwell? Is it Manisha? When he returns upstairs again, his camera has been thrown over, and later when Jordan is in Manisha's room, the bathtub faucet turns on. He goes to have a look and finds this, scared off for a moment. When he returns to the bathroom, the figure is gone. Is Manisha playing tricks on this ghost hunter? If so, she's doing a proper job of it. What lives in this creepy place? Posted to the very spooky video subreddit by a now deleted user, this scary video of an abandoned tunnel will have you steering clear of the darkness. The cameraman is walking down the damp stone tunnel. He assumes he's alone until he hears this. What creature's lair did this unsuspecting victim just walk into? Some in the comments think it sounds big and unhappy. Others think it sounds half human, half animal. Everyone else is noping right out of there, and I'm right behind them. There's a meeting going down inside this office. The only problem? No one attended. Published by Teofilo in August of 2011, this mysterious activity was captured on camera. The video shows what looks like your everyday office, but you soon realize it absolutely isn't. A chair and stool move near simultaneously by themselves. After the chair slows to a standstill, the stool jerks out even further into the aisle. It continues to move, even tilting at one point. It later dives over onto the floor. Is this a ghost meeting gone wrong? Or is some visual trickery happening here? Either way, if you work here, it might be a good idea to call in sick tomorrow. This ghost hunter is wandering down the hallway of an abandoned building when he sees this. Published by Hassan Barbar in June of 2021, something is sitting behind that door at the edge of the hallway, and I'm pretty sure it's a djinn. The door bursts open to reveal that it is indeed one of the cloaked creatures of myth. Although the djinn does not move, the door keeps slamming shut and bouncing open again. This goes on for a long while, and finally the jinn makes a move. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah. Bismillah. He disappears behind the shut door. Hassan approaches, and when he slams the door open and enters the room, he finds the jinn has vanished. As he looks for him, it seems like he is pushed from behind. <laughs> then in another room, objects are being smashed. <laughs> Will Hassan find the jinn again before it's too late?
A family was reportedly taken from the scary abandoned house, and these ghost hunters are here to investigate. Published by Dark Arts TV in August of 2021, they first come across a photograph of creepy porcelain dolls. They then open the door to a room before heading outside. While outside, they hear an unexplained sound. So I got a big torch on now. Yo, the car's just banged. Another happens shortly after, scaring the crew. Video right. I don't know. Energy.com for sponsoring this video right. Back inside, while one of them is waiting for the other near the stairs, the front door opens. Later, they hear voices, and it sounds like someone is at the door. When they ask the spirit to show itself, they hear it again. Can you show yourself? Outside again, they speak to the spirit through the spirit box, and he tells them what he's ready for. They later hear male voices, not through the spirit box, but nearby. Man's voice, yeah. Yeah, I'm turning this off, mate. They decide it's time to leave before they get taken too. This ghost doesn't want to be hunted. Published by Turkish channel HD Adam in November of 2021, the team is here to investigate the case of Jean Hoka. As they case the joint, they find dozens of nails strewn on the floor. Is there a meaning behind this? They're looking down another hallway and something hits at a curtain in the window. When the cameraman runs over to look out of it, you can see this window is on an upper floor and there's no one around. In another room, they find a glass, again with nails inside. The team wants to know what this means and asks viewers to share. Do you have any ideas? It might be the next step in solving this mystery. Thank you so much for getting me to 20,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 30,000 subscribers next. Thank you.